Yep, y'all, Portia changed Heather test results. I said, you don't messed up. You know you don't messed up, right? But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review with Life of Chessie for General Hospital, September 23rd, 2024. Okay, y'all, so first thing for let me know y'all thoughts on today's episode down below. Look, Portia changed the results. She changed the doggone results. I said, do y'all think that she's going to blame Brad or say that he did it? I said, but why would he do it? I can't remember if Brad and Heather have a, a past or what. I also wanted to know, like, what's the history of Portia and Brad between them? Like, did he do something or is it just because of everything he did? Come y'all thoughts down below. But yeah, on today's episode, I guess we're going to start with Portia. So first, um... She was talking to Terry about Brad being back or whatever, and she didn't like it. And she, she, I feel like she knew. I feel like she knew before the whole little conversation with Terry. I feel like she's setting it up. I feel like she's setting it up so she's going to end up blaming Brad, but I don't know. We'll see. So she ends up meeting up with Trina to tell her that the results came back. And basically, Heather's levers are are the same that basically it's not the reason why the cobalt poison, it wasn't the reason why she was running around taking people's life <laughs> or whatever. And, um, uh, I said, mm, mm, mm. you don't messed up. You don't messed up. All you had to do was wait. But I don't know. I feel like regardless, she was going to end up getting out. I just, like I said, I feel like Heather faking just so she could get out. But we'll see. But yeah, they show her. The, first, she told Trina. Trina was like, she feel like a weight has been lifted off her. Basically, she feel like she could breathe now or whatever. Because, you know, at first she was saying that Heather de deserved to get justice if that's the reason why she was doing it. But now Portia done told her that that wasn't the reason why. I said, you don't messed up. I think Terry ended up talking to Elizabeth about Brad working there, too. And I said, yeah, it's going to be proven. I said, matter of fact, can't they prove she's, they show her scanning her badge? I said, can't they prove that she the one who did it? And not only that, I think Terry said that uh, uh, Brad has been working with somebody, so he's being monitored. So they would have known if he went in that office and changed it or something like that. I said, you done missed the Oh, my freaking goodness. Okay. So on today's episode, let's start with Elizabeth and Willow. Willow, Willow, Willow. I said, you know what? The more she talk about Drew, the more everybody going to start to suspect something. I feel like Elizabeth suspected something, too, because she made this face because she kept on talking about Drew and he saved my life. And she was saying it in not in a way that, you know, she appreciative in a way that she falling for him, that she's falling for him or whatever. But, yeah, um, I said Willow just wanted to mention Drew's name. And I said that that's her whole thing, the fact that he saved her. Not only her thing, Drew admitted to Curtis that he liked being somebody hero. I said, look, ooh, I'm so ready for this to come out. I wonder when it's going to come out. Probably next month, y'all. Who knows at this point? It might drag on for the rest of the year. But, yeah, um, that's what they was talking about. Lulu and um, um, Jason them going to try to find Lucky to save her. And that's when she started talking about, yeah, Drew saved. It happened for me. And she just kept on talking about Drew and stuff. And then she saw Elizabeth's face or whatever. And she, she was like, well, I got to go or whatever. I said, yeah, keep on talking. I said, keep on talking. You guilty. You was guilty. But I don't think Drew ever went on that. Remember how he said that um he had somewhere to go out of town and uh I think he wanted Willow to come with him. I don't know if the kiss happened before then or what. But did he ever go? I don't think he did go. But yeah, uh Portia Terry, we already talked about that. Curtis and TJ, they was talking about um TJ stopped by to see Curtis at um what's the name of his place? The Savoy. And um he was saying how he didn't know where Molly is. And that's what I wanted to talk about. I said, do y'all think they finna get ready to have Molly and Dex hook up or what? Could they keep on running into each other? He keep comforting her. I said, how you gonna sit there and try to cover her and ask about everything that's going on when you sit up there and told, who was it, Chase? I think he told, told Chase, I remember thinking, I remember thinking that lady would really do something to uh, Asia Jones if she got the chance. I said, how you gonna sit there or whatever? But yeah, that's what it seemed like it's going, Dex and Molly hooking up or uh, whatever but yeah tj and curtis was talking about that and he was trying to tell him how he feel and they both grieving differently i said look christina and molly can't see each other point of view tj and molly pulling away from each other or whatever i think tj was saying he not confident that they're going to make it or whatever and i said uh, 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 do y'all think this was bound to happen or what molly and dex he was just checking on her to see if she's okay how she's handling everything she started to cry and just speak on her daughter and just everything that's going on with her mother or whatever and he was just consoling her comforting her or whatever but they didn't go back to them i wanted them to go back to them because i wanted to see what happens i wanted to see if something was going to happen between them or whatever but i didn't see nothing robin and felicia end up uh calling mr brennan to the office or whatever to the office <laughs> and then they was just asking about anna and jason he ends up revealing that they found uh a uh, dog. What's his name? I got it somewhere in the notes. Sid well, Sid well, Sid something. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's whatever his name is. They found where he's at or whatever, but they didn't show Jason. Them. Did y'all see the preview this morning where um Jason and them looked like they was fighting somebody? And I think that uh Sidwell was asking them who they are. And I think they showed Holly slapping or hitting uh Sidwell. I see, yeah, it's about to go down this week, y'all. That's probably gonna be Friday's episode. That's probably gonna be Friday's episode. But uh Felicia ended up telling Robert that basically Brennan wanted something from Carly or whatever. Carly and Jocelyn was talking about the same thing. Sonny, she doesn't approve. She doesn't approve of them being involved. And then uh Mr. Brennan came in. Carly and him still ain't talked about it. He still ain't told her. He still haven't told her, but I think he's gonna get ready to tell her. We'll see. Cause it's been dragging on for a long time. But yeah, Jocelyn and Carly was just talking about Sonny per usual. She doesn't agree. She doesn't appreciate or like the fact that Carly is choosing Sonny over herself yet again or whatever. I got a question. Because we about to talk about Brooklyn and Gio. I think they're the last people. Somebody, It was some people saying that they feel like instead of Lois being Gio's mother, that Brooklyn could be. I said, how? I don't even know. I don't know how old these people is, so I don't know. But yeah, the way they was talking, but I don't know. Somebody in their family connected to Gio. Somebody is, but we'll see. But yeah, they was talking about his mama or whatever, and she was saying how she want Violet to feel, you know, loved and cared for. Again, they said that Finn's supposed to be getting out soon, so we'll see. We'll see or whatever. But yeah, that's all they was talking about. Oh, Elizabeth said that Steven got released from jail. I thought he was going to get her to come there. And I was about to ask y'all if Steven was Heather's son, but then, you know, they was talking about it. They was talking about it, so I was like, yeah. Let me see what else. Portia changed the test. Brooklyn and Jill talk about his mom and her and Chase having kids. Oh, yeah, that's the part. That's the part. They was talking about her and Chase having kids, and I was like, ooh. I said, do y'all think they would go there? We'll see. But, yeah, I think that's everything. Not too much happened on today's episode. Let me know y'all thoughts down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, do to her girls today and be safe.